<clears throat> okay, so I like to wait before I start with the content of the show for less than a minute because some people are doing something else sometimes. Some people are driving or they're cooking or they need a little bit of time to actually be safe and, uh, and tune in and get the content of this show and some other shows they wait 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Webinars, sometimes they wait 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but in this case, because these episodes are between 5 and 10 minutes, I like to wait for less than 1 minute, and that said, I am going live in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. What is going on? My name is Ben and welcome to another episode of my daily vlog where I try to inspire you to achieve your goals and therefore your dreams. How are you? Happy Sunday. I wish you an excellent week tomorrow, Monday. Starting tomorrow, Monday. Today it's been a nice day here in this area of New England. I went to play soccer with my friends in Norwich, Vermont. And today I am going to talk to you about something I call the sucking process. And the sucking process is a process that is natural when we start doing anything that we start doing. And oftentimes we are af afraid of failure and afraid of sucking and afraid of what other people are going to say about what we are doing and how we are doing it. So, uh, and therefore we never start doing things. But at one point you have to actually uh, Take a chance and do whatever you want to do and be willing to suck because the second process is going to take a little while to to get better. So I do have some notes here and I wrote, you're going to suck until you no longer do and only suck occasionally. So, you know, the when you're doing anything that you want to do, you are going to most likely suck at first uh, until, and then you keep doing it and doing it and doing it and you will uh, occasionally no longer suck. However, even uh, the pros occasionally suck. So it is a, a normal process of growing and you have to be willing to, to do it and you have to be willing to try and um, you have to and uh, the other note I wrote is you have to be the only judge but pay attention to constructive criticism and what I mean by that is like you know you really uh, whatever you think is what really truly matter now if you're in a negative side uh, in a depressing uh, state of your life you may you need probably need professional help but you have to try to be very fair with what you're doing i know a lot of us uh, including myself we are perfectionists sometimes and we are a little tough about ourselves but i think that it, that is in at least in my case because i do want to get better and i'm sure we all do but don't let uh, don't let sucking be the stop of your dreams okay because that is actually not uh, otherwise you're never go going to start and uh, uh, okay so I'm reading my notes here and uh, for example one of the examples is I am shooting my third movie right now as a filmmaker and uh, I know it's going to take me probably 10 movies to get somehow decent uh, film, filmmaking but I am willing to suck in my last movie uh, which is called I for, I for Kill Ya and I did publish it in this channel I think a month ago month and a half ago and uh, so I now when I watched the movie the last time I watched the movie I saw so many things I could improve you know after the movie was published but before I published the movie the movie was already finished and shot and I I took the leap of faith and I said, you know, I'm just going to put it to the public. Maybe that's something I am I think is wrong and it's not wrong in the opinion of other people. But what matters is like I saw some things that I can improve and I was willing to suck. And I know that it's not a it's not the greatest movie, but I did my very best at the time with what I knew and with the tools that I have. So I hope that this movie that I'm shooting right now is going to be better. Will this movie win an Oscar? 
Of course not. I don't think so. I'm not being negative, but I'm being trying to be realistic. However, I hope to improve and get a little better with it. That is my main goal. And I am willing to suck. And one of my fears with publishing I For Kill is like what some people will say. I, I, I didn't care too, too much about many people, but I was I did care about certain people. What are these people going to say? I'm not going to tell you who, but you know, I was thinking, oh, this person, what is she thinking? What is what is he thinking? But I said, you know what? It doesn't matter. You know, uh, at the end of the day, nobody really cares too, too, too much all day long about you and about me and about anybody. Everybody, they have their own lives and they keep moving forward. And if they said something bad to you, you know, I just need uh, need to keep moving forward. And uh, the other example that I have for you is this show. So I did set the goal for myself to do 365 episodes during 2019. And if I watch the first episode and I compare the first episode with this episode, this episode is better. I know it's better. Did I master this craft of uh, doing a live show? No, <laughs> I'm probably years away from mastering it, but I am sh certain that I am doing better than I did on my first episode. So, and that is um, in part for my willingness to suck. You know, if I did suck for the first 100 episodes and I'm going to suck for another 50 episodes or another 100 episodes, so be it. This is the only way I have to get better by doing it, by being here with you and doing this live show. Um, so the other note I wrote is like, the sooner you start, the sooner you will get better. So if you're waiting for, so there's so many things people wait for, and I'm including myself. Uh, I was watching a video last night about one of the YouTubers. I follow Matty, and I can't remember his na uh, last name, uh, how to say his last name. But anyway, he ran a um, survey within his subscribers and asking them why they were why they are not starting their YouTube channels. And um, and a lot of people were afraid of the camera. They were not, they didn't feel comfortable in front of the camera. So one, he didn't feel comfortable in front of the camera. And Matty, he has 700,000 subscribers right now, but the only way to get better is to do it. And you need to start today. If you can start today, if it's three in the morning and you're about to go to bed, okay, <laughs> start tomorrow. But start and uh, the other thing i do i was thinking how what can i say for to somebody to actually if you let's say in the case of doing a video doing a, a your youtube channel or making a video for your youtube channel something you can do and i wrote that this and in, in my notes here is like test and self promise so i wrote you're going to make um you are going to make a short video today with your phone and you can decide to watch it or not, but the promise to yourself is to delete it immediately after you shot it or you watch it. No matter if you watch it or not, you have to make another one the next day. Keep doing this until you take a chance to post your first video. Be willing to suck. To public don't care and those who care if you suck or not, to tell you you suck don't truly matter okay so you know if you are you know sometimes the fear of uh shooting a video is like oh man i shoot a video but i'm gonna put it on my channel and um, it's gonna be live and people are gonna watch it just shoot a video of yourself watch it or not watch it uh, but delete it but at least do it you know shoot it with your phone <coughs> we all have or most of us have a camera on our phone or if you have a camera just use your, use your camera if you don't want to use your phone but shoot it watch it or not watch it and delete it you know i my instinct is to tell you you know just watch it uh, make one and delete it you don't have to watch it you know you don't have to watch it and uh but that that is up to you sometimes that can can play against you or sometimes not so depends on, on who you are and your personal situation but start today start today or tomorrow if like as if it's too late and you're watching this on your bed and you need to go to work the next morning do it just do it start today and the other thing i i wanted to tell you is i was watching a video with somebody 
sometime in the last week or so and um i think it was like mel robbins what she was talking about lady gaga and uh so lady gaga she is a genius she, she is a, a she, she won i don't know how many emmys or grammys grammys and uh she's uh she's great right she's very um successful very talented but at the beginning she wasn't so there were these um, mean people who created the facebook group to criticize her and to tell her how much she sucked and how bad she was and you know what she did she kept going and today she's one of the top artist musicians in the world so that is a good example of somebody who you know maybe she cared a little bit but she kept going um honing her craft and getting better over time and here she is she's a, a multi-millionaire super talented musician and that's something that is she was willing to suck uh, but she did what she loved and here she is succeeding everywhere in the world so that said my recommendation is don't be too afraid to suck and again you know you can you don't have to uh do something and publish it immediately but start doing it start doing it today because if you don't do it if there's always a reason why you don't do it you will never do it okay so and the goal is for you to actually do whatever you want you know either if it's a youtube channel a video or whatever it is you have to do it and now i have a few quotes for you i actually have five quotes for you related to willingness to to fail not really or not to fail but to suck right so the first one I have for you is that everything you want is on the other side of fear. And that is by Jack Canfield. It's a great, it's a bestseller, a New York Times bestseller author for many, 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 many decades, well, years. And the next one is success is most often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevit inevitable. And that is by Coco Ch Chanel. Good quote too. Next one, only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. And that is by Robert F. Kennedy. Good quote too. Next one is, giving up is the only sure way, uh, sorry, giving up is the only sure way to fail. And that is by Gina Showal Showalter. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And the last quote that I have for you, Right. Failure should be our teacher, not our undertaker. Failure is delay, not defeat. It is a temporary detour, not a dead end. Failure is something we can avoid only by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. And that is by Dennis Waitley. So anyway i hope this inspired you a little bit at least or a lot to do whatever you want and uh and be happy or have a happy -er life so that's all that i got for you tonight thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate your likes if you like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to learn how to lead a successful life how to uh if you want to learn more about filmmaking photography audio acting and a very important if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and i will do my best to answer them as soon as possible typically the very next day unless i need to research my answer in which case it will take me a little longer but i promise you i will reply to you as soon as i can and again thank you so much for watching i wish you an excellent night and a wonderful week and i will see you tomorrow night good night